Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. So today is a very special episode because it's the first time that I'm finally able to get in here and record ATS version 1.3, which is the new Coupling and Arizona DLC or expansion or add-on or update or whatever you want to call it. So I have not been able to check this out <laughs> much at all really, um, but I'll get into that in a minute. So with the new Coupling, I already have a trailer. And uh, we are currently in, uh, I believe we're in Sacramento, California. No, we're in Barstow, California. And we will be taking a trip all the way to Tucson, Arizona, which is a uh, new part. So we're going to be going to Arizona for the first time. So as you can see, haven't entered Arizona at all. Um, I haven't seen Arizona, so this will be the first time as I'm recording. So with the new coupling DLC, adds a really awesome pickup. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach onto our trailer here and uh, show some of the cool features. For those of you that haven't seen it, or I'm assuming you have already, but or you've played it or experienced it in some way. But if you haven't, this is the new awesome coupling. I'm doing this from the outside cam just to get a view of it. But obviously I will be doing this from the interior cam most of the time. So you drive straight back, get boom, you get connected with the... Uh, the fifth wheel there, you lock the kingpin, and as you can see, we're connected to the trailer, but our flashers, our lights, nothing like that's working. We have no air lines, electricity lines, anything like that run. Landing gear is still down. So what's really cool about that is we can now do pull tests to see if we've, uh, and we have in fact locked the kingpin. So we're pulling the trailer, so it means we're all locked up. And then what we can do, which is really cool, which I'm gonna to try to get in here. I don't know if this one actually has a handle that'll animated that'll spin but I don't think it will I don't think there is one so we're just gonna go ahead and attach the trailer so the gears will well those just kind of shot up some trailers will you know slowly go up and I'm assuming yes yeah, some trailers are different this one is a little bit different but now we're all officially connected to our trailer um, which is really cool so like I said it gives a whole new meaning to um, oop to picking up, which is something that we, uh, was just super simple all the time, uh, originally, just because there was nothing really holding us back that was challenging to pick up. You would just go there and press a button, and you would have the trailer. So, it's very nice, awesome DLC, or add-on, update. Um, glad to see they're constantly expanding on more simulation-based things. I'm just trying to back my truck up here so I can get a wider turn on this, uh, turn, so we can make it past this pole. So we can get out of here, so we can start our trip, so we can go to Arizona. So we can see what Arizona's like for the first time. And we cleared that pole, just barely. So, yeah, I'm very, I, I love the new update. The only time I was able to play was just for a little bit, um, about two weeks ago. It was a very long time ago. Uh, and the reason why I haven't been able to play it is every single time I come in to do a single player recording, um, I get hit up by Jeff and Jeff wants to record multiplayer and I'm not going to turn down multiplayer so definitely going to take an opportunity to, opportunity to do multiplayer so it's been about two weeks and um, yeah have not been able to experience much of this I saw that the update came out all I did was take, take the shortest run I could just to experience what the coupling was like the coupling is amazing but um, I have not been to Arizona since the update has been released I know a lot of you have probably seen it by now, whether you play ATS or you've seen it in another video or something, but if not, get prepared because uh, it'll be the first time that I see it, so I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to go ahead and just make our right here, and uh, we'll go over our load here very shortly, just trying to get out of the city. Oop, dragging the trailer on the curb. That's not good. It's been a while too, like I said, it's been about two weeks, so I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> I've been playing multiplayer, which is still trucking, but you don't really brush up on your skills when you play multiplayer. You kind of just deplete them because of how uh, <laughs> how terrible you're driving. So we're going to go ahead and get on the highway here. Now we can start going over what we have. So we're currently hauling 53,000 pounds of cement uh, to Plasters and Sons in Tucson, Arizona. God, the wheel is just... Okay, this is just too much. I'm going to have to go in here and turn off. I've had, look how low this is. I'm going to have to just go ahead and turn it off. The terrain. I don't know what they did in this most recent update, but 
good god, the terrain was just terrible. It was causing my wheel to jump around like crazy. Um, it still is. What you're seeing my wheel doing is what what my actual wheel is doing. It's just bouncing around. It's very strange. Oh, we gotta take this. So, we're hauling 53,000 pounds of cement to Tucson, Arizona from Barstow, California. Uh, it is a 396-mile journey. Uh, we're, we're gonna get there in about 10 hours, uh, probably around Wednesday at 10 p.m., and, uh, we have about 25 hours to complete the job, and we're gonna make about 9,500 bucks, and, uh, no damage on the trailer. So, let me go ahead and speed up and get up to 55 now that we've gone over what we're hauling. But, yeah, so, I just haven't been able to jump in here and play, which is unfortunate because I was sitting here going, oh, God, the new update is out, Arizona's out, coupling is out, and... I had a lot of fun playing multiplayer. It's just every single time I went to go play, Jeff was like, hey, let's let's do a multiplayer. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that instead of doing a single player. So it's why I haven't done a single player in so long. Uh, but you guys have been enjoying the multiplayers, which is good. But it's just nice to be back. It's nice to have mods again. God, just you forget what things... You forget how bad some things are. And that that mods have fixed and then you go and you play multiplayer with no mods and you go oh, oh, oh so many things need to be changed the biggest thing is the mirrors SCS needs to adopt this FOV mirror fix by default this needs to be default in American truck sim because these mirrors are so much better than the stock ones the stock ones are so bad I had such a hard time backing up all my trailers and multiplayer just based off of the stock mirrors because they're just so zoomed out um, they're not zoomed in at all, so... But anyway, yeah, I'm very excited to experience Arizona. I've been able to hold myself off until I needed to record, which is good. We're going to have to stop at a way station, which is not good. 53,000 pounds of cement is pretty heavy. I wonder what the speed limits are going to be in Arizona. I know Nevada is a little bit crazy with truck speed limits. I don't know how Arizona is going to be, but we're going to find out shortly. Also, I think someone said that there's a hidden... Some sort of hidden test track in one of the cities in Arizona. I'm not sure how true that is. Um, but I would like to look into that a little bit further to see if it is in fact true. 88,418 pounds is our gross weight. Um, but yeah, so I went ahead and I updated some mods, things that I could. Some things are out of date. Unfortunately, MHA Pro Map Mods is completely uninstalled. Uh, there's not a new version for the ATS that I'm running, at least that I couldn't, f ooh, at least that I could find. I couldn't find a current version, did not see this guy at all. Um, so I went ahead and decided to take it out because it just wasn't working anyway after the update and had broken it, so I just took it took it out. I updated some things by Jazzy Cat that he released AI pack and stuff like that, so some things are up to date, some things still work from the old versions, and um, some things are gone. But the main things that are, the main, I guess the only thing that's gone is the, uh, MHA Pro Map Mods. That's the only thing that I think is actually completely gone out of my game. I'm going to try to see if I can get a little run here and pass this truck. I know people hate this on the road. They always hate seeing truckers pass other truckers because they're just <laughs> two big obstacles blocking the road, but I'm going to try to get around them while I can. Maybe even set my cruise at 60, which will be good. Get away with five miles an hour, hopefully. And get over. There we go. So, um, yeah, just I I, I missed American Truck Sim a lot. Uh, multiplayer is a lot of fun. It is, but it's just a totally different experience. I come out here and I in single player, and uh, I did a quick little run before I started recording. I was uh, in Oakland, California, and I wanted to get a little closer towards the Arizona border. So I took a job from uh, Stockton to Barstow. And um, just making sure all the mods work, making sure there's nothing weird going on, you know, just stuff like that. So I did a very short trip, and um, I'm out here with the traffic from single player, and I'm like, oh man, this is so different. After you've played multiplayer for the last couple times, you're not used to traffic. The only traffic you see are real people. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Maybe after this guy. There we go, and we'll... Slowly, this trailer is heavy. 
Oh yeah, this trailer's nice and heavy. Gonna take us a little while to get through some gears here. I won't skip as many, maybe that'll help us out. But yeah, so after not dealing with traffic for so long, I come back in and I'm trying to get to Barstow to just kind of start recording and everything I want to record and I don't want to just be driving around for no point, so yeah, I'm trying to get in there and record and everything and um, yeah, I'm just having to deal with sitting in traffic. I'm like, what the heck? This is so much traffic. So yeah, multiplayer is fun. It's just, it's a totally different experience. I've also updated my sound pack that I used. Lots of new sounds. Lots and lots and lots of new sounds. We actually might need to continue this cruise control in seven high, just because these hills around here look pretty insane. I don't think we're actually in... Nope. So we're going to stop in this last city in California right before we enter into Arizona, which is... Uh, or we're going to go through it. I don't think we're actually going to stop, because we're we're good on everything. We don't need to sleep. Uh, fuel is good. Uh, six hours left and then six hours to sleep. So we're probably going to be getting there as the buzzer is going off. So I did install another mod, which I've actually had installed for a while, but it just didn't work. It works now. It's the Qualcomm sound. So it replaces the uh, ATS, like, yawn when you get tired. So that guy doesn't go Ugh, all the time. It just makes a beep, which I'm not sure which one's better, <laughs> to be honest. They're the, the yawn was also annoying. The, the yawn was annoying, but the uh, the beep is also on its other level of annoying. So I'm not really sure, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, just don't mind me trying to. All right, I thought that SUV was gonna go. Good God. All right. But yeah, so we're gonna make a stop in a city before uh, the last city in California, or we'll drive through it. And then we'll be in Arizona, so we're really not that far from Arizona. And, uh, uh, where am I going? Uh, Tuscan, Arizona is, uh, kind of in the middle of Arizona. So, we're going to be, uh, checking out a little bit of Arizona along the way. I didn't want to get a run that was just into the, uh, tip of Arizona. There it is, Arizona sign. Arizona this way. I don't think we're technically in Arizona yet. It, we could. Oh, we might be. Howl's Trail. I don't know what that means. Ah, there we go. Arizona. Welcome to Arizona. A uh, bunch of stuff on a sign that I couldn't read. So I guess we are in Arizona then. 75 miles an hour on the on the uh, speedometer there. On the speed limit for trucks, which is a little insane. We're going to go down to H low. 8 low here. H low. That's not anything. High low. No. Um, drink, ride, lose. Interesting. Arizona looks pretty cool. Off the bat, it has a different sort of feel than uh, California and Nevada. Lots of cactuses or cacti that you can see. Oh, look at the way station. The way station looks very different. Yeah, you gotta like pull way off over there. That's cool. That's awesome. So yeah, this is with no map mod or anything. This is just standard. Uh, Ameri there's a THP in there, which isn't right. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna get over here. Try not to get jammed up. I don't know what a safe speed to go is. I, it tells me I can do 75, but that just seems really fast. That doesn't seem like a truck speed to do at all. But I'm just gonna try to, maybe I'll just stick with 60. See how 60 treats me. See if I'm getting passed up by any trucks. Can I go ahead and get over? Yeah, I'm gonna get over. Maybe we'll do 65. I don't know. <laughs> These roads don't seem too bad. They're a little bit curvy, but they're not very sharp, so might be able to get away with 65. Let's go into eight high, get up to 65. We'll set the cruise. I also want to make up a little bit of time so that way I'm not pulling into the yard dead asleep. Um, so hopefully, there we go, 65. Oh, we're going to drive right through the middle of Phoenix, Arizona. Wow, that's that's going to be pretty cool. That's not going to be bad at all. So. All right. Yeah, it looks really not Look at this place. It looks really cool. I don't, I've never been to it well. Oh, look. That's an Arizona state. Uh, state trooper? 
State Trooper? Hi uh, Nevada Highway Patrol? Phoenix Police, I think, maybe? That might be Phoenix Police. Nevada Highway Patrol's all blue. Phoenix Police Department, I believe, is the one that's white and blue. Could be wrong about that, but... I don't know. We'll see how Phoenix, Arizona is, and we'll also see how terrible the frame rates are. Because <laughs> we're about to go through it. Uh... <laughs> Which frame rate is always an issue with uh, these games. It's so nice being in a new area. I love these uh, on and off ramps. Those seem, having that interstate du uh, duck down in there, kind of cutting through, that definitely is an Arizona thing. I haven't been to Arizona in, oh God, since I was a kid. I went to the Grand Canyon when I was a kid, but, okay, hold on. What is happening to the, uh, road system here. We're not going towards Phoenix. Logistics area. We're going towards Flagstaff? No. Yes. 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 We're going this way. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. These are some interesting... Look at the map. Look at the turnoff on the map. Good God. I couldn't zoom in fast enough. Look at that. That thing is crazy. And we are going way too fast. We need to slow down. And we're going to be exiting up here, getting off the highway. This, so this is the 8 that we're going on. I'm assuming south on the 8 right now. I don't really know. I don't think I have a compass in here either. But, yeah, I, I haven't been to Arizona since I was a kid, so I don't really remember much about it. Um, I do have, you know, I, I have, do see pictures and stuff like that, so I do know that the highway system is like this kind of sunken in, cut through sort of thing. Like the on and off ramps are all raised up, I believe, so... That's pretty cool. I can't do anything with that, dude. If you're expecting me to go, I can't. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to make a left-hand turn with you sitting where you were sitting. Like, you gave me no... You were being nice, and I appreciate it. But you gave me no room. Okay, you know what? I really don't want everybody to stop. Okay. Do we have space? We good back there? Because I'm going to back up just a touch. Looking at that shadow. I hope that shadow isn't lying. All right, there we go. I don't... No, it's you. Go. I can't do anything here. Okay. Tahoe, don't you stop. Go. 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 That's it. I'm going. I'm going. Sorry. Tried to wait. Watch my trailer. Ugh. Okay. I tried to wait. I really did. But I'm on a schedule. I gotta get going. Phoenix looks awesome. Look at Phoenix. Hold on, let me go into outside view. Just to get a little better performance and also a better view. Phoenix looks really cool. I don't know. I've never been to Phoenix, but I'm assuming that's what the skyline looks like. Kind of. Well, a miniature version of the skyline. Look at that guy working on a power line back there. This is pretty cool. Coffee and snack. Is that a drop off? No, it's not. I am just all in the lanes. <laughs> okay. We need to pay attention to what we're doing here before we uh, start running into people. The Arizona license plate are awesome to see on cars. That's really cool. That's one thing that I really like about uh, American Truck Sim is if you take a load from Arizona or from California or from Nevada or whatever, a good example is my trailer has a California plate. If the next trailer I pick up in Arizona is going to have an Arizona plate. And that's just really cool that if you traveled across the states, uh, you'll have the plates of the uh, the state that you picked up in. Which is going to be really awesome later on once American Truck Sim becomes all of the U.S. Because you'll be able to pick up a trailer in like New York or something and drive it all the way to California. And you'll be on in San Francisco or something and see a nice New York license plate on a trailer which is pretty cool that's a nice motorcycle sitting up on the sidewalk there it's a very sketchy place to park your bike but whatever all right so we're going to be getting back on the highway it looks like we had to jump from the 8 to the 10 uh <laughs> they still haven't fixed that the ai just shooting across the line i think i'm good to go i don't think anybody else is going Always cutting the corners a little too sharply. I need to pay attention to that. All right, we need to... Having some trouble. Give me a sec. That was a very sharp... Or very, uh... I guess sharp? No, not sharp. Steep. 
steep on on ramp there and this trailer's heavy so I'm trying my best to get everything I can out of every gear but yeah Arizona looks really cool I'm excited to see the Grand Canyon too I want to see what that looks like um, I'm really hoping that that is not a miniature version I know that they're very limited with what they can do in American truck sim in terms of scale and all that and I that makes sense I'm, I'm okay with that but I just hope that when you get to the Grand Canyon you're not just looking at a little like car tuned version of the Grand Canyon that's like super small because that would just be that'd be depressing like honestly it, it really would um if anything it would just be a cool thing where you can get to like the edge and maybe just they just kind of modeled like those hills off in the distance like that's what you would see off in the distance of the grand canyon just more canyons and stuff that'd be cool um that way you can still see it and it still has that huge you know factor to it because yeah if you get there and it's not that big eh, it's kind of kind of shitty <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, is that a Taurus police car? What? Black Taurus police car that says police. Who the heck could that be? Truck stop. Oh, look at the truck stop. It's like off the interstate and it's up over the... What? It's like up over there. I'm trying to drive and look over there. That's cool. Oh, so that sound. And you guys have to be the judge of this, really. I mean, I... I don't know. I don't like the yawning and I don't like, I don't even know if I like the beeping either, but both of them are, are pretty bad. But which one would you prefer? Would you prefer the yawning or the beeping? Because I would gladly turn off the beeping if people like the yawning, but if you don't like the yawning, I'll keep the beeping. If you don't like that, uh, I don't know. Not many other choices, really. Uh, the only thing is the beeping happens every time you're supposed to yawn. So it can happen a little too often. We need to really get our lives together here. Going up a hill on the wrong gear. Losing all our speed. I really like these on and off ramps. They're really cool. And that truck stop back there. That was like a dedicated exit to a truck stop. That's cool. I like that. That is awesome. I think we're actually getting... We're going to be coming up on our destination here. Short, yeah, we're going to be exiting the highway here shortly. Let me go ahead and get over. Make sure we're clear. So we're exiting Tucson downtown. You are getting tired. Yes, thank you. All right. So, see how Tucson is. Never been here before. Mm, let's go ahead and just hit those brakes so I don't rear-end this truck. That'd be nice. <laughs> 